Homeschooling is increasing at a rate so fast your mom can't even calculate it, but the facts could be more skewed than a North Korean election. I'm Devin Siebold. This is the State of Teaching. Parents are homeschooling now more than ever. The price is right every single day, lucky kids. Over the last five years, homeschooling has seen an average nationwide increase of 55% enrollment each year. And why not? I mean, the statistics are staggering. One website says scores are 15 to 30% higher than public school students on standardized tests. Another touts the average score for a homeschooler ranges between 85 and 87%, while public schools 50%. Public school is being wrecked harder than Gary Coleman fighting Kimbo Slice. The only problem is many of these statistics just simply aren't true. Or they come from heavily biased sources. Just Google, is homeschooling better than public school? Do it now. All the sources are skewed sites pitching homeschooling like Alpha Omega, Homeschool Academy, ResponsibleHomeschooling.org, and the ones that aren't pitching it, well, they're trying to sell homeschooling materials and products. Base 10 blocks, you know, for your homeschooled 11th grader. Now look for the real stats to back up their sales pitch. Good luck finding a study not funded by pro homeschooling initiatives. You'd have a better chance of OJ finding Nicole's real killer than you do finding unbiased studies. I want to be clear, I am not against homeschooling or saying it's worse than public school. I just want a clearer picture for parents to decide. The problem I see is that many of the studies that are done compare homeschooled children to all children in public schools. They don't account for things like you know, race, economic background, or parental involvement, and they should. The overwhelming majority of homeschooled students are white with two-parent homes where just one of the parents works full-time making over $75,000 a year. The kids would have likely fared better in public school as well given the advantage they already have in life. That's like if we did a study and we compared all guitar-playing children to just kids who have the last name Van Halen. There might be a slight advantage there. Now, the only study that I found that accounted for economic status found that there was actually a 1% difference between home and public schooling. Hey, 1%, 30%, close enough. Especially if your math teacher is your dad that just copy-pasted a fake Facebook doesn't have the right to my photos status. But anyways, here's the thing. Even that 1% statistic may be incorrect because Unlike public school, not every homeschool student needs to be accounted for. In 11 states, including Texas, Michigan, Connecticut, Illinois, officials don't require any notification when families decide to educate their children at home. Or do they monitor how those students are actually doing? Seven additional states have unreliable tallies on homeschooled kids. So homeschooling is kind of like the Tyler Durden of education. Does it really exist or do they just punch themselves in the face at recess? I don't know. The final argument that we all hear is that students of homeschool have a better acceptance rate into college. So here's this. When surveyed, 59% of parents homeschooling said they did so for religious reasons. 74% wanted stronger morals. Those parents have a higher likelihood of putting their children in Christian institutions. The acceptance rate is typically higher for homeschooled kids because a sizable portion of those students are applying to unaccredited religious universities or Christian colleges with a slightly higher acceptance rate than public universities. So what I'm saying is, do more research. Again, I'm not saying homeschooling is worse. It very well could be better than public school, but what I am saying is the data used to champion that decision is poorly gathered and extremely biased. Just how biased you say? Well, here's the final twist. The stats I gave you in the beginning of this video came from a voluntary survey. That survey was sent to 200,000 parents. Out of 200,000 surveys that were sent out, 532 of them were homeschooled. You're comparing 532 kids to 160,000 public school responses? Think about this, the survey was entirely voluntary too. So if you homeschooled your child and they didn't get a great SAT score and they didn't get into college, would you, their teacher, respond to the survey? Think about it. And then go buy my new homeschooling merch. These shirts are 48%, no 78% more comfortable. Whatever percentage you want. 
I'm Devin Siebold. This has been the State of Teaching. See you next week.